from drinking hot water with turmeric and salt to cure COVID, to other bizarre COVID theories. We here at Logically have debunked a long list of COVID misinformation theories. And another one circulating on social media is that nasal swabs used for COVID-19 RT-PCR testing have cancer-causing substances in them. Let's find out if this is true or false. Hi, I'm Neha and welcome back to this week's episode of What the Fact is Going On. Today, we'll discuss whether or not RT-PCR testing can cause you any harm. RT-PCR is an established test for COVID-19. Although not perfect, it is trusted by medical professionals around the world to detect the presence of the SARS-CoV-2 pathogen, or in other words, the COVID-19 virus. And usually what happens in an RT-PCR test is that swabs are taken from the nose and throat as samples. Enter a social media claim that states that these swabs contain a cancer-causing substance called ethylene oxide and are hence dangerous. So is it true that nasal swabs use this chemical called ethylene oxide? Yes, ethylene oxide is used to sterilize nasal swabs. And not just nasal swabs, this colorless gas is used to sterilize medical equipments as well as other herbs and spices in small doses. Ethylene oxide is dangerous when used in large quantities. That being said, should you be worried about nasal swabs? No, not really. According to the UK Medicine and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, the amount used in swabs is insignificant and won't cause any damage to humans. In fact, there's an acceptable limit to use ethylene oxide for sterilization. To ensure transparency, the process of manufacturing and sterilization is documented by an independent third party. So to conclude, a very small amount of ethylene oxide is used in nasal swabs, which is not high enough to cause cancer. And that's why we mark this claim as misleading. Hi, thanks for watching Logically India. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make fact-checking episodes every week. So if there's anything you want us to fact-check, let us know in the comment section below. Or download the Logically app for quick fact-checking services. This is Team Logically, signing out.